Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to a new video from Languami. Do you know that we Egyptians still talk in ancient Egyptian language, holographic? It's a fact. How? Watch along and I will tell you how. Egyptian Arabic is one of the most amazing Arabic dialects out there. And aside from being the most used dialect in the Arab region, what makes it really amazing is its richness. It's very rich because it has many language components. So many languages along the ages, they just came and unite together and form and mold together in order to give us this entity that's called Egyptian Arabic. So Egyptian Arabic is not entirely Arabic. It's Arabic plus Coptic plus Hilographic plus part Roman, Greek, some English, some French, and all this tied together and formed together in order to give us Egyptian Arabic, okay? So part of this, a big component of this, of course, is the holographic. We still use some holographic or ancient Egyptian words in our daily life conversation. In this video, I will give you five important words that are still used today in our daily life. Meanwhile, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and also share this content if you like it and found it useful. And take a look at the description box below where you'll find my website and also my blog and also get more information and more amazing articles about um, Arabic. Now let's talk directly about the five words that are directly descended from the ancient Egyptian language. The first word that we will talk about is teta. Okay, Teta. You may hear a very interesting and famous song in Egypt that's called Teta, 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 Wahid, Itnin, Talata. This song is a song that we sing to kids who are trying to walk. So Teta, so you, you tell or the, to say to the kid Teta, so try to walk step by step. Teta came from Titi, the pharaonic word tt which means step by step or slowly and this pharaonic word was transformed into coptic teta and we use still teta in our conversations and in our talk to kids so you may hear teta and know that teta was ancient egyptian in the origin and we still use it in egypt today the second word imbu kids who are starting to speak and want to drink water, they usually say imbu, and we say to them imbu means water, okay? It's very familiar in Egypt and really hilarious that we know that imbu is connected to drinking water for kids and even for us as kids. But imbu has an origin, has an ancient Egyptian origin. Actually, it's not imbu, it's ibmu. Ib mu, so ib at the beginning and mu, it's the, the, the other way around. So ib mu, ib I want, and mu is water. From it came Moses, Moses, okay? Moses is uh, from water, the kid who came from water, okay? Mu is water in Egyptian, in ancient Egyptian, and ib is I want, ib mu, I want water. So we say it in Egyptian till today, imbu for the kids, who are trying to or trying to communicate and say I want water so imbu another interesting word is the word baba okay baba is the ghost that we as children in Egypt were afraid of to come from anywhere so baba okay baba is a very interesting word because it has an ancient Egyptian origin it actually came from baba baba which is a a, a god in ancient Egyptian, one of the ancient Egyptian gods, and was transformed into Bubu in Coptic, into Bubu. And from it came Fubu, okay? Fubu in Greek. And from Fubu came the phobia. And, okay, the different types of phobias, like claustrophobia and all this. Fubu, phobia, came from Bubu, that came from Baba. And we still say Boba, that's not, let's say, we don't say it a lot today, okay? But we used to say, to, to hear it a lot when we were kids. And I'm sure that many kids in Egypt, they know the word, uh, know the word Boba, okay? So Boba, it came from ancient Egyptian Baba, okay? That stands for to Bubu in Coptic. Another word that's still connected to babies and kids which is Nunu, okay? Nunu is a very important and interesting word and very common word in Egypt. It's everywhere until today. Nunu, we say to the kid, 
or not the kid, to the baby, actually not the toddler even, the baby, we say the baby Nunu, okay? Nunu is a very uh, interesting word and common word. And Nunu came from Nu in ancient Egyptian means fragile, okay? Fragile. So Nu or Nunu, it's, not, it's something that's fragile, okay? Very, very weak. And this word transformed into Egyptian Arabic as it is. Okay, so we just say, we don't say just nu, we say nu, nu. Maybe it's an exaggeration of being fragile, okay? So if you hear the word nu, nu, and for, for a baby, know that it came from ancient Egyptian nu. The last word is shabura. Shabura means fog in Egyptian Arabic. So if you are driving in fog, you most likely will hear the word shabura, okay? So shabura. Shabura. Have you asked yourself before from where came this word Shabura? The word Shabura came from the ancient Egyptian combinations of Shab means changed or changing and Ra means light. Okay, changing light or changed light or light changed. Okay, and it was transformed afterwards into Coptic as Shabra, as one word, Shabra, Shabra. And from Coptic, it was further transformed with the time into Shabura, which is still used today as it is in Egypt, okay? So if you hear Shabura anytime, now it's not a foreign word or it's not an unfamiliar word to you. You know now that Shabura came from Shabra, the Coptic, that came from Shab and Ra. So I am sure that now these five words give you some reflection about the Egyptian Arabic and more understanding about this dialect. Actually, as I told you before, Egyptian Arabic is an amazing dialect. And if you use Egyptian Arabic, you will not only enjoy the culture and enjoy and, and, and speak this dialect in, in the entire Arab world, but you will also get some reflections about the different civilizations and about the different cultures that are represented and are melted together in this dialect. I hope that you liked this video and you found it useful. Don't forget to like this um, episode and also to subscribe to the channel. And also don't forget to share. And don't forget to look at the description box below. Check my blog, check my website. And uh, send me comments and tell me your feedback and your opinion about this, uh, this video. Thanks a lot for your watching and see you in future videos.